What's up? Hey, I'm just, uh, this is a little video showing you how the combat, especially with the sword in Songbringer, has gotten a little bit more precise, more accurate, tighter, tighter controls, tighter combat. Um, so I'm going to go through a list of things. There's some just basically minor tweaks that have been made um, to improve all that combat and make it more accurate without really changing much. It's just mostly minor tweaks and stuff like that. Um, so first thing I'm going to show is um, that the attack direction for Rock is now consistent. Um, let's go back to the other... Let's see, first of all, we want to not have the glove just yet. Um, and we want to go back to this other version. Because this is the old version of Songbringer that you play. This is basically version 1.0.0. Um, and I'm going to turn on a debug feature where it shows all the hitboxes and stuff. Watch this. This is how it used to be. All right. If I if I start pressing in a, if I attack in a diagonal direction once, you can see the hitbox is kind of upwards to the diagonal northwest direction right there. But if I hit again, he'll go back to the west direction. Or oh, that time he did north. So see what I mean? I press diagonally northwest, and then he went back to west. So what that did is it really created some a sense of wonkiness almost to the sword where you were previously hitting this one direction and now it's he's just hitting another. Um, so here's how it is in the new version. It basically keeps your, um, it keeps whatever direction you had queued up. So if you start attacking into the northwest, he'll keep attacking to the northwest even if you don't press any more directions. Um, and I'll show that with uh, with the debug on first. So northwest, I just all I did was press the attack button again. I didn't press any more directions. Let's do that again. So I'm attacking to the northwest. I'm, I've pressed no directions yet. I press the sword button, and he still keeps attacking in that dire that same direction. So that just really helps the combat immediately feel a lot more consistent. Um, and it's a very minor change. Another one here is that you can throw the top hat consistently too. So if I, um, let's say I, I start aiming, so I'm holding down the top hat, I'll throw it backwards, and I haven't pressed any more direction keys, and I press the the top hat button again, he throws in the same direction that he had, you had just queued up. So that's pretty neat too. More accurate top hat, more accurate um, sword. Uh, another thing is that the hitboxes have all been improved. So, um, if you previously found that you, like, maybe you thought you should have hit, but it didn't, like, you, you're like, what, it whiffed there? Or maybe, you know, everything is just a little bit tighter, especially the diagonal directions um, and the north-south directions. So, there's a lot more accuracy there. See, right about here, you shouldn't be hitting it. You're too far away. But here, you're just barely hitting it. Same thing, let's go over here really close to this pillar. I'm just barely nicking it at this point. And you can also see that the sparks fly off right about where the sword hits. So that kind of makes the combat feel more accurate. It's just an animation. There's not really anything actually changed in the game's code. It's, it's just that it's basically the sparks are coming off at a more accurate location. So that helps it feel more accurate. Um, and then, oh yeah, so there's a slightly longer attack window. There used to be um, a very pretty narrow attack window. And what would happen is you would fight an enemy like this that's coming at you. And um, since that was, that's an example right there where I, where I swung and he was moving towards me. Um, um, basically before that attack window was even shorter. So there was, there was, basically more room for error and and basically it felt like you connected with enemies less because you had to like master this crazy precise timing now it's just basically a tiny bit um a tiny bit better so as i get hit by these guys several times that was a pretty good example the sword um is stays behind a little bit longer basically and that's only 0.05 seconds it's a very minor change but hopefully it should just make you feel like you're connecting a little bit more with enemies, especially ones that are flying straight at you. Um, and of course, there's still some precision and timing to it because it's such a minor change. Um, and then, uh, oh yeah, shorter cooldown cool for sword combos. So 
This has always been in Songbringer where um, there's been sword combos, so if you hit something and then you hit again, the next cooldown is faster. So you get you kind of build up this attack momentum. If I just attack and whiff, 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 it's always the same cooldown. So see how I'm pressing the sword button over and over and over, and it's always about that length of cooldown. But if I start hitting something, subsequent sword swings, the next one and the next one, up to there's basically up to three combos, or two combos in addition to the first swing. Um, it gets you get a slightly shorter um, d attack delay and um, and cooldown. So that's that's a, that's also a very very minor change. We're talking like point. 0.025 to 0.05 seconds, something like that. We're talking like one frame at 60 frames a second or so, something like that. Um, and then this is pretty cool. This, there's now a blink momentum. So basically, this is what what level of blink orb is this? Um, there's three levels of blink orb, and I currently have two levels. So let's go down to the first level of blink orb, where you first pick up the blink. It'll be like this. Um, basically there was a really long, there's always been a pretty lengthy cooldown for using the blink. We're talking like three quarters of a second before you can use the blink again, but now there's a blink combo, so if I, if I blink and then blink again within about one second, it'll start a combo. So that's basically the second time I blink is one, the third time I blink, blink is two, and then um, so basically you build up these this momentum with the with the blink so you can actually there's actually a very short cooldown now if I'm just blinking over and over and over repeatedly so it's, it builds up the blink momentum and let's show that um, the old version of the game this is this will make it kind of dramatic you'll see like oh that's how it used to be so here's how it used to be See how slow that is? There's a really long cooldown. Um, so let's go back to the new version. And it starts off slow, but builds up a momentum pretty fast. And once again, that happens after two additional times blinking. You've got it, you're at your maximum cooldown basically there. And then of course, if you have further levels of the blink orb, let's get all the way to the max. It's kind of cool when you've got maxed up, max out blink, all three blink orbs, basically all three, the blink orb plus the two upgrades. Um, you've got, not only if you've got the, the fastest cooldown, but you've also got the fastest combo cooldown. So the blink orbs always had a fast cooldown with the level three blink orb. It's just now a tiny bit faster. We're, once again, this is about a 0.05 second type thing. Um, where if you blink repeatedly, you can blink faster. Um, and then there's one last thing I wanted to mention. Oh yes, Clutch Courage Defense. This is kind of cool. Um, also kind of a subtle change to the game, not something you're really gonna notice that much, but um, if you get low on health, I'm just gonna cheat to hurt myself. Well, now I gotta go get her a bunch. But basically if you get down to one tooth, you're at low health, you're the, there's red stuff blinking in the corners, like right now. Um, the Rock has Clutch Courage Defense, so as he gets really low on health, he takes a little bit less damage. It's almost like as if you had some armor on, as long as you're at one tooth of health or less. So you can actually take, so every, every tooth of health has always been divided into four. So there's actually, um, so yeah, basically a tooth is like four hit points. Um, and before, when you would step on enemies, or you ran into enemies, or they, they basically made the collision with you, you would lose half a tooth of health, and now basically when you have clutched courage defense, when you're less than a tooth of health, you only take a quarter. So it's really not that much of a big difference, but it should come in handy to kind of give you sort of this clutch defense where you kind of, you can kind of walk away from battle at this really low health and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just lived. Um, and that'll, um, that, that is also just a very, it's a minor change. We're talking going from two hit points of damage down to one hit point of damage, but only if you're at low, low health. So, 
Yeah. I hope these um, these combat improvements help to make the game feel more accurate, precise, and have the combat feel tighter without really changing the game that much. That's the goal. Um, so that's coming in an update, and uh, that's it for now. Thank <laughs> you.